her message uh, yeah. remains one of peace, which is quite extraordinary and difficult to do, I think, after having experience with yeah. experience. What is your message and how can you stick to that? My message is that I'm, I'm willing, and I learned it from Hamza Awada, a Palestinian peace activist, that I'm willing to forgive about the past, I'm willing to forgive about the present, but I won't forget myself and no one, no other else if we want to create the future. We'll make the future a better future. And this is what I've been doing for the last uh, three months, creating hope and creating a better future. And this is why I am so happy and optimist after this protest, hundreds of Israelis and Palestinians demonstrating it together, pro-equality, pro-justice, pro-peace. And we wanted to be here two weeks ago. We wanted to be here last week, we, but we were refused by the Israeli government. The Israeli government is not just dehumanizing the Palestinian, it's, it's also dehumanizing and oppressing and silencing the voices of peace and equality within Israel, of both Israeli and Palestinian citizens. So this is why this protest was so important, and I, I was privileged to speak. And I, I also was saying that all my life prepared me to the moment that my both parents will be killed in a terrorist attack. Because my father, who was a farmer, and he cultivated the land, and he was an expert for wheat, he also cultivated each of my cells to believe in a good future. And my mom, she was an artist, and she's done many, many paintings. And I, I actually fed from her with the courage to fulfill my dream. And my dream is a dream of peace between the river to the sea, a shared peace between Israelis and Palestinians. And my message to the world, my message to everyone, please don't choose a side. Don't choose Israel or Palestine. Choose, choose humanity. Choose humanity. Choose reconciliation. So choose shared future. And I also spoke I addressed the German and American administrations on my speech. And I, what I said was that they are treating Israel as a favorite and spoiled child. They are giving the extreme right government of Israel no limits and the, no accountability and no condition for their unlimited support. If it is the International Court in Hague, if it is in the UN. Uh, uh, Security Council, or if it's by sending Israel military aid. But when a parent is not giving a child any limits, any limits, we all know that it will be result in a catastrophe. And if the US and the German will keep supporting us unlimited, unlimited the catastrophe will be so much bigger that will miss October the 7th. The catastrophe, which I'm afraid might happen, it will be the end of the state of Israel. And this is why I call, and I'm calling everyone, don't send us military aid, send us reconciliation aid. Send us, send us reconciliation, send us peace, send us love. Can I ask you briefly? Uh, I think it's, I can't imagine. But it's, it's very difficult after what you've been through to have this uh, call for reconciliation, to not want hatred and revenge, having lost your <laughs> way you do. How do you do it? It's so rare these days. No, so, this is what it's not rare. We were 100 here. And we would be 1,000 if, if the government wouldn't refuse us to be 1,000. And I, I would also use the words. Of Fela Kuti. Fela Kuti, this is his t-shirt. He, he, he died many years ago, but he was a Nigerian peace and social activist. And he said, war is not the answer. War has never been the answer. And war will never be the answer. Those are the lessons I learned. And this is the message I want to send. Revenge will just make the cycle of blood, hate, fear to continue. And we must stop. We must start this cycle, and I'm calling all the world, especially people in the Arab world, common people like myself, or the Arab leaders, support us. Support us with reconciliation, with shared society initiatives. With peace.
Honestly, in my I need a hug now. I need a hug. You do? I need a hug. I need a hug. You know what? I feel like people have lost their humanity. So we need to remind them. We need to remind them. We need to remind them.